This is day one of the Democratic National Convention where delegates plan to rally support around Vice President Kamala Harris. Yeah, let's take a live look at the United Center in Chicago where organizers are expecting celebrities, two former presidents, plus President Biden, and nearly 4,000 delegates who make up the contingency at the convention. 23 of them are from South Dakota. So what is it that they do all week before being on the floor for the big speeches that we see on TV? John Gaskins spoke with a delegate. He has our top story now here at 5 o'clock. Hi, John. Hi, Brian. Julian Baudouin is the South Dakota delegate captain in Chicago and says despite the expectation that Donald Trump will make it 60 straight years of Republican presidential nominees winning South Dakota, a lot of what delegates do this week can go a long way in benefiting all South Dakotans should Kamala Harris win the national election in November. Before all the bright lights and buzz on the convention floor in the United Center, there are all kinds of meetings in a convention center six miles away. Delegates are here to work. We're here to talk about the policies of our state. Uh, we're here to talk about you know, the things that need to be changed within our local elections, um, in our county elections again, how we can get more Democrats elected into office. Bodwan says South Dakota delegates are talking to those in other states about what it takes to get ballot measures passed. And... South Dakota has a huge focus on agriculture, and so this year um, we are making it a point to ensure that we are making and building relationships with those within the agricultural field. South Dakota delegates talked with a USDA representative this morning. Bodwan is confident that having Tim Walls, the governor of a neighboring state, on the ticket can boost those connections and future federal resources for South Dakota's farmers and rural developers. I think it's, it's really important to remember we're not just voting for a president, we're voting for resources. Again, that's what we're out here doing is we're, we're building those relationships so that we can have sustainable um, uh, and a sustainable economy, we can have sustainable agriculture. Bodwan says the Biden administration's support for ag is staggering. But he also feels Biden stepping down and the emergence of Kamala Harris brings a sense of engagement to things that matter to South Dakotans that he didn't feel with either Trump or Biden. We have so many young Democrats within the state of South Dakota who uh, has hardly ever been engaged in, in politics. And so seeing the engagement right now, seeing their excitement, um, seeing their passion, it's something that, uh, that, that we love to see, but also it's something that Democrats need to have in order to, to be successful in the state. Now, Bodwan is the former director of the South Dakota African American History Museum, and he talked to me right after his meeting with the Democratic Black Caucus in Chicago. It featured speeches from luminaries like Representative Maxine Waters, Senator Cory Booker, and Tim Waltz himself. Andrea?